This screencast is meant to help people who are using LibreOffice to write their research papers to insert a bibliography and then take entries from the bibliography and put them as references into the text and then based on that generate an actual references list or bibliographic list at the end of the paper. So for instance you can see here that I've got a little fake paper that I've put together on the placebo effect and I have a couple of scientific sources that I'd like to use to reference some of the comments in the paper. So the way that I'm going to do this would be to begin by entering my journal references into a bibliographic database. Now I'm using the Linux version of LibreOffice, but it should look fairly similar on Mac and Windows. So what I do is I go to the Tools menu, and then from there I select Bibliography Database. And when I click on that, a new window appears. And you can see that I've already got a couple of entries in my bibliographic database. You may have a whole bunch in yours that are put in there by the system when LibreOffice is installed. Feel free to delete those and then just go ahead and put your own journal entries and books and articles and papers and so forth into your, uh, your own private bibliography database. So if I click on one of these entries, you'll see that there's a short identifier that's going to be used by default when you insert a reference into a document. Now I've chosen to use the last name of the first author and the year of publication. So in this case, Diener 2008 and Cooper's 2005 for my two journal articles. And if you click on either of these, you'll also see, especially if we expand this to full screen, that I've taken the time to enter the short name, the authors with last name first, comma separated, multiple authors, the title, the type of the uh, bibliographic database entry, which in this case is an article, the year it was published, the pages on which the article presides in the journal, the number, the series, the journal name, and so forth. And you should do this, of course, for all of your entries. Enter as much information as you can so that your bibliography is as complete as possible. Okay, great. So I have my bibliography uh, database entries. You can go ahead and add your own. Let me go ahead and close this. Now I want to insert a reference. So I select the place after which I've made a statement that needs a citation associated with it. So maybe this is knowledge I don't have personally, or it's not common knowledge, so I have to cite my source. And now I'm going to actually insert a citation. And so the way that I do that is I go to Insert, and then Indexes and Tables, and then Bibliography Entry. So when I click on that, what I want to do is I want to enter from the Bibliography Database, and I'm going to choose my entry. So if I click on the short name list, you'll see my two entries from my Bibliography Database are here with their little short title associated with them. So I'm going to choose Cooper's 2005, and I'm going to insert that, and then close. All right, and so your mileage may vary depending on if you've inserted bibliographic database entries before. You might see the short name appear here, or you might see the number one appear because this is the first entry. Okay, great. So now let's say I want to ins uh, put at the end of the document an actual list of my bibliographic entries. I mean, after all, this is just a number. It doesn't mean anything. I need to put into the document what that number represents. So again, I just need to go up to Insert, indexes and tables, and this seems a bit redundant, but you're going to do it a second time. Indexes and tables. And then, new window is going to appear, and you're going to select the type to be a bibliography. So it's the last entry in my list here. Great. So I want to make sure that it's selected to be protected against manual changes. That, that is, if I go and insert a new bibliographic entry, a new reference earlier in the document, it re- calculates all the numbers so that the references appear in the order that they appear in the document and then I told it to number the entries. If you uncheck this, instead it will put in that short name like Cooper's 2005 or something like that. And then you can tell it what style of brackets you want to use to put the little number in. I like square brackets. Lots of journals and research papers use square brackets so I recommend square brackets. And then I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And see, now I have this, this beautiful bibliography that's been automatically generated for me. You can see the authors appear, the title of the, uh, the, the, the article and the year. You might have to mess with this a little bit to get the journal name and so forth to appear. I'll leave that as an exercise for the student. Now let me show you what happens if you go and insert another bibliographic reference before the one that you put in first to show you that the numbers will update. And then I'll show you the trick to updating your actual bibliography or list of references at the end of the paper. So let me put my cursor just before the reference labeled 1. And then I'm going to go to Insert, Indexes and Tables, 
and then I'm going to put in a bibliography entry. And this time I'm going to choose Diener 2008, because I didn't use that one already. And I'm going to say insert, and then close. So now Diener has become the first reference, because it appears first, and Cooper appears second, so it's labeled two. But you'll notice that annoyingly it seems as though your, your end of paper bibliography hasn't been updated. No worries, simple trick to get that updated. You're just going to go to insert, indexes and tables, indexes and tables, and then select bibliography again. You're not going to have to do anything here. All of the changes you made the first time should be there, and just say OK, and boom. Updated bibliography, you can see that Diener now appears first, Cooper's appears second, everything is as it should be, and your paper looks pretty good. So that's how you use the LibreOffice bibliography tool to insert journals, articles, books, and so forth into your own private bibliography database, insert references to those uh, documents in your text, and then put a bibliography with the list of references in the order they appear at the end of your document.